Let's jump into a rabbit game. We'll see what we're going to face for an opening and how poorly I can play it. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we'll play a London. We got a 1660 from the UK. No, we don't. I'm just kidding. 1673 from the US. And we get the black pieces, so it's going to be another Scandinavian. Let's see how I can mess this up this time. Oh god, see, I don't I already don't remember if we're supposed to drop the bishop back or if we take. But I'm pretty sure that we just here, there, there, there. Pretty sure that we just maintain the pressure and go bishop h5. Let's find out. I There's so many different variations where like sometimes you take the knight, sometimes you don't, and you go up to h5, sometimes you go to f5. Jesus, really, really need to go over my Scandinavian lines. I don't know what um, is going on with my brain lately, but I've had much, a much, much harder time <sighs> focusing on openings. Hmm. We could maintain that pin. Uh, something to be said for that. Takes, takes, takes. Bishop back to e2. here well that wouldn't work but takes 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 here it's here they're gonna go knight h4 knight h4 hmm this seems too boring. I know that I could always like cast along and like if they take it's if anything that's good for me, open up my rook. But I feel like there's like I've seen this before and I missed a tactic. I'm pretty sure this isn't Technically, this is not sound. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Bishop e2. No, wait, that, that knight can take. What am I thinking? Let's just drop the bishop back. I've been playing a little bit too risky lately, giving up free pawns and making bad sacrifices, so... I'm gonna stop that. I castle, I go e6. e6. All right, e5. That yeah, seemed like slightly inaccurate, actually. Kind of just like a wasted tempo. Here, there, I think. And then I'm fine taking. 
kind of just, well... And then I'll play a six, I guess, to stop the rook. Uh, yeah, I'm not really happy with how I'm playing this. I want to um, do something over here, like h5, h5, g5. And I might just double the rooks at some point. So I take back with a rook. Uh, knight g5. And I am significantly down on time, so I'm going to have to step up the pace here. Maybe just rookie eight at some point would be smart. But yeah, I want to chip away at the weaknesses over there on the king's side. And uh, improve my bishop, because my bishop kind of sucks. Improve it or trade it. The problem with here is that... Maybe I could consider taking with a pawn. But <clears throat> no, I don't think that's the best plan. I'm assuming they're going to take with a bishop because otherwise I win a pawn that way. So if bishop takes, rook takes or queen takes. Queen takes, it hits the knight on f3. Um... Which is about it. Rook takes. Kind of activates my rook a little bit more, which I like. But Ooh. Oh. oh, wow. Of course I blunder. But maybe we can use this to our advantage. I think that blasting that open is like the only chance that I have. Because they don't take my knight, which I don't think they are because they have to move the bishop. Bishop goes where? If the bishop goes here. Yeah. That kind of helps them develop. Here, there. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that was the right move. It is a free pawn. It opens up the G file for me, but the question is, can I open up that G file? Here, there, there. Let's do it. Just gonna try to use this to my advantage now. Maybe uh no right. Knight of four doesn't work anymore because the bishop's covering that. And I don't want to take because that really just helps my opponent develop either with the knight or the rook. Takes, takes, 
Okay. Here it takes that doesn't work. We could go here, we could start with that. Takes. And just forget about our night. Takes. And then if takes takes. It would Oh my gosh, that's messy. <sighs> It looks more fun. Okay. So now, should I just sack the knight? Let's see here. Takes, takes, check. And maybe king over. Here, we're hitting the pawn. I think we're actually doing okay, but there's a lot going on here. So we're hitting the pawn on d3, which would be nice, because then we hit the knight and the bishop. Oof. So white has to address this threat here. I'm also hitting the bishop on e5. Um, I mean, it's defended well enough, but... And then we have some ideas of just going after this pawn on g4, because that is a weak king, or they're about to be. Um, what are white's moves? What are white's best moves? That's one of them, but I have this. And we gotta stay up on time here. So let's make sure I do that. I should be winning a piece. Maybe not, actually. Knight blocks. But then, oof. That's... That's a pin. Good lord, finally I play some half-decent chess.